Stephen King's adaptations have varied vastly in quality, from Academy Award winning movies like The Green Mile and The Shawshank Redemption, all the way down to laughable flops and box office bombs like Cell and Graveyard Shift. Somewhere lost in the middle are the shining gems on King's crown that denote him as the literary royalty he is. That's probably too much with the regal metaphor, but there's no denying that he does rule and that there's plenty of stories that are thrown to the wayside without appreciating their artistic integrity. Like Maximum Overdrive and its giant green goblin truck mowing down human life as we know it. Artistic, I say! With that in mind, I'm Ash from What Culture, and these are 10 underrated movies based on Stephen King stories. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to stay notified. Ding, ding, done. 10. Gerald's Game The story follows married couple Jesse and Gerald as they attempt to spice up their love life with some peri-peri BDSM. But things take a dark turn when Gerald collapses and Jesse is left handcuffed to the bed with no way out. This ain't your average Saturday, though. Turns out Gerald's remarkably dead. Almost the entirety of the film takes place in one room, relying on the very small cast to provide sufficient tension and drama to keep us glued to our screens. Carla Gugino provides an awards-worthy performance as the stranded Jesse, who rides a roller coaster emotions in a bid to escape the bedroom. Also, shout out to the Moonlight Man for being extra creepy. Sh the bed has never felt like a more appropriate phrase. 9. Apt Pupil Starring Ian McKellen and Brad Renfro, the film follows teen Todd Bowden who learns that a former Nazi is living in his town under a fake name. Rather than turning him in, Bowden implores the ex-SS officer to regale him with horrific stories of his time in the war. A complex film, Apt Pupil explores dozens of themes and is worthy of multiple viewings to truly appreciate the depth of its writing and dialogue. Gandalf is always excellent, but shows a new side to his acting skills with his spine-tingling performance, and Renfro does an admirable job of portraying a highly disturbed and suggestible kid who gets in way over his head. 8. The Dark Half Directed by none other than George Romero and released in 1993, The Dark Half tells the twisted tale of a horror writer named Tad Beaumont whose alter ego, George Stark, seemingly comes to life to launch a murderous rampage on Beaumont's friends and family. It's like Christmas dinner with racist Uncle Frank all over again. An intense Jekyll and Hyde story begins to play out, with Tad's life spiralling dramatically out of control as he desperately attempts to prove his innocence and put an end to the killings. Romero's fast-paced direction and horror mastery is on display throughout the film, which faithfully recreates one of King's more obscure and inventive stories. 7. 1408 Following horror writer and paranormal skeptic Mike Enslin, played by John Cusack, we watch as he spends a night in a haunted hotel room. The film did well at the box office and earned positive reviews, but strangely is often overlooked when discussing the greatest King adaptations. Cusack's performance is an undoubted highlight of 1408, as he successfully captures and conveys the frosty wit and snarky attitude of many of King's salty protagonists. The opening half of the film is especially effective, as increasingly spooky and menacing events begin to occur in the room, and Enslin's staunch belief in the supernatural begins to crumble. A constant sense of mystery and dread builds up from scene to scene, resulting in a satisfying conclusion that remains open to interpretation. 6. Creepshow Directed by George Romero and released in 1982, Creepshow presents a compilation of five skin-crawling tales. King himself wrote the screenplay for the movie and even made a Stan Lee-level cameo appearance in one of the stories. The film had mixed reviews upon release but has developed a cult following over the years, even spawning a couple of sequels. Combining the darkest of comedy with the grisliest of horror, Creepshow is a masterpiece in its own right and a veritable love letter to retro horror comics like Tales from the Crypt. Many modern horror anthologies have taken more than a few cues from Creepshow, which has become a cult classic for its wicked sense of humour and fantastic practical effects. 5. Secret Window Based on one of King's short stories, Secret Window came out in 2004 and stars Johnny Depp as best-selling crime author Mort Rainey, who retreats to a lonely lake cabin to overcome writer's block. There, he is confronted by a menacing man named Shooter who claims that Rainey stole one of his story ideas. Thus begins a harrowing 90 minutes in which Depp is physically and psychologically stalked by his new neighbour and his own personal problems. 
Even though he's pretty icky now, the movie is regarded as one of Depp's deepest and greatest performances, and he carries the plot along with aplomb. Hitchcockian in style and tone, Secret Window is a highly tense and riveting suspense movie with a well-paced plot that becomes more twisted and terrifying as it continues, typing up with a shocking ending that's sure to leave your jaws on the floor. 4. The Other Shining Technically a miniseries, the six-hour-long 1997 version of King's magnum opus is often compared unfavorably to the well-known Stanley Kubrick adaptation. But King himself actually prefers the TV movie, and it's not too hard to see why. Where Kubrick took liberties with the plot in more ways than one to craft his own vision of the story, the 1997 iteration was fully written by King himself featuring plenty of classic moments that were cut from the film, like the famous hedge monsters, which definitely gave me nightmares, no shame, and an arguably superior ending. King was famously critical of Kubrick's movie, but he managed to bring his original story to life very well in this version. Jack is more relatable, Wendy is far less meek, and the fascinating character of Dick Halloran gets much more screen time. In short, if you enjoyed the novel and want to see that story played out on screen, this is the version to watch. 3. Dreamcatcher The story focuses on a group of friends with mysterious telepathic powers who are caught in the middle of an alien invasion. It starts off at a ponderous pace with an air of mystery and some interesting backstory for the main characters, but swiftly develops into a full-on monster movie. The sudden tonal shift was heavily criticised by reviewers, but if you take Dreamcatcher as a fun alien horror flick, it actually works really well, with an almost B-movie vibe present in certain scenes. Take a good hard look at yourself if B-movie King doesn't sound appealing. The highly talented actors making up the cast help to keep the action engaging, and if there's one argument we can make in favour of Dreamcatcher, it's that this movie is compelling. Whether you like it or not, it's hard to stop watching. 2. The Running Man Released in 1987 and starring Arnold Schwarzenegger himself, The Running Man is vastly different to King's original story, which he wrote and released under his alter ego. The film takes place in the far-flung future of 2019. The biggest show on TV is The Running Man, in which death row inmates are thrown into a huge arena in a life-or-death battle with stalkers, heavily armed guards with amusing names and flashy costumes, not unlike boss characters in video games. The whole movie really does play out like an arcade game as Schwarzenegger and other runners battle their way through the arena, taking on one increasingly ludicrous stalker after the next. It's a pure popcorn action movie with a ton of 80s charm and wonderfully cheesy dialogue, and despite deviating massively from the source material, it remains one of the better King adaptations, as well as being highly rewatchable. 1. Thinner Telling the tale of Billy Halleck, an arrogant, overweight lawyer who falls victim to a gypsy curse, he gradually begins to get thinner and thinner as the dark magic eats him alive. The movie barely broke even at the box office and got plenty of negative reviews, but it does have more than a few redeeming features that make it fat with a PH. Tom Holland's direction is one of the film's saving graces. Writer and director of the first Child's Play movie, as well as Fright Night and a few other horror classics, Holland has a lot of experience in the genre and his influence helped to produce some memorable body horror scenes and really decent practical effects throughout Thinner. This film is worth watching for the makeup alone, but only if your eyes are bigger than your belly. Get it? Get it? The film was criticised for featuring a cast filled with eminently detestable characters, including the protagonist, but King's original story suffered the same problem, proving that the film is actually a pretty faithful adaptation. Hello there, you've made it all the way to the end of the video, and as part of my designated 18 hours of community service, I'm here to tell you that we have a number of other channels available for you to subscribe to, as well as other slightly, possibly not related videos for you to watch. So please do one of the things to my left or right, otherwise I have to pick up leaves on the roadside.